Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to add the Lombok in an IntelliJ IDEA or in your project and what is the need of the Lombok and how to use that Lombok. Okay, so so uh, so let me let me quickly show you the one of the example guys about the Lombok. In my previous video, I already explained you about the Lombok, what is meant by the Lombok, why Lombok is needed in, in, a, in a Java project. So everything basically we learned, we already discussed guys, okay, you can watch my previous video as well. So here you can see, I'm just giving you the example here. I'm creating the one of the few variables over here, private uh, int variable I'm going to create here, then private uh, load variable I'm going to create over here, and then I'm going to create a, a string variable, string s, okay, semicolon. These are the variables basically I'm going to create, and again, one of the variable I'm going to create, create private string uh, uh, tree semicolon okay uh, semicolon and you can see guys semicolon and uh, one more variable i'm going to create over here private private <coughs> integer b these are the five variables basically I created. In my previous videos, we already discussed, guys. So one of the boilerplate code available, one of the drawback is available of the Java, which is named as the getters and setters method. It means, guys, we have to create a getters and setters method for our for our to code. access this private data members to outside of the class. Compulsory, we have to create a getter and setters method. So you can see, guys, I'm just automatically generate a thing over here with with an integer in idea. So you can see, this is I'm first of all I'm just generating the constructor over here for all this variable and once I'm generating the constructor, even I'm generating the getters and setters methods for all these variable. You can see guys, if I'm going to click over here on the generate and if I'm going to create getters and setters methods, you can see I'm just selecting the thing and you can see guys, uh, so only for, for this private variables, you can see guys how many line of code is generated over here. You can see around 60 line of code we generated over here. So for all this variable, we created the getters and setters methods guys. And, and once you access this variable, so what we have to do guys, suppose we have another class we have, suppose I'm creating another class over here uh, for uh, getter and getter setter. Okay, this is what the class I'm just created over here guys. And from uh, and in this class, I'm just creating an object of the R basics, uh, R, R what guys, basic Java programming class. You can see I'm just creating an object over here. And once I created the object over here, guys, what exactly I'm trying to do? I am just calling those methods. Whatever methods we want to call, I just need to call those methods. But apart from it, we have to pass the values as well. Like suppose I'm just passing the value. Like this, basically, we can able to pass the value because of we create, we define our constructor here as well. So the point I want to tell you, you can see that this is how I define the constructor here. But I remove this constructor and as of now. What exactly I'm trying to do? Let me quickly uh, define the thing over here. This is an object basically I created again for this class. I remove the constructor from this class and you can see guys, I simply call this method get a. Okay, and suppose uh, if I'm going to print this thing, you can see by default value, whatever by default value we have, which is provided by the Java constructor, zero value is going to assign over here because of the, the, none of the value do, uh, we are having right now. Uh, we haven't print anything here. That is why uh, we don't get any value, but let me quickly print the value of the a variable. And if I'm going to run my program, you can see guys, what exactly happened? Your, your by default value is going to print on the console. But the point I would like to tell you, if you want to generate, if you want to just create and set us methods of this variable, it's it's what guys, it's really, really hard. You know, your huge line of code is going to increase. You can see around 50 line of code is just in, uh, created over here because of guys, because of what? Because of we added the thing over here because of uh, we created a getter and setters methods for this private variable. So due to these things, this is a uh, polyplate uh, code we are having and that is why we have to use the Lombok. So guys, whenever we want to use the Lombok, so uh, so what we have to do guys, we just need to, this is our Mavenven project we are having. So simple, you, ne you just need to search over here. You just need to open the Maven repository and you just need to search Lombok here. Okay, once you are searching the Lombok, you can see the first dependency we are getting project Lombok dependency we are getting and just you just need to select this project dependency and Maven dependency you need to search you just need to click on this Maven dependency and you have to paste it this Maven dependency in where guys in a pom.xml file where it is here it is okay so here we have to add your pom.xml file guys okay so once you are once you are done with this thing you can see guys 
I ju I'm just adding my pound.xml file and I'm just refreshing this thing. Okay. So once we are done with this thing, guys, now what exactly we have to do? Uh, right now, the one of the biggest drawback over here, if you want to create a value or if you want to set the value for the particular variable, that time we have to use the create and cater and setter method. This is completely duplicate line or redundant line of code basically we are creating over here. So right now, after adding the Lombok over here in my project, I'm going to remove the all getters and setters method. Remove One, the all code over here, which is uh, getters and setters method. We are having, we have to use the inbuilt annotation, which is provided by the Lombok. So guys, uh, Lombok is provided over here for the getters annotation as well. So getter annotation, this is the Lombok annotation we have. And with the help of this annotation, uh, automatically at the back end, you are getters methods are going to create if you want to set the value simple you have to just uh, what we have to do guys setter annotation we have to use and with the help of the setter annotation automatically setters methods are going to create over here once our getter and setter methods are created now uh, now do you remember we we have to define our constructor as well so if you don't want to define the constructor at that time no argument constructor you can uh, define over here this is the beauty of this is the beauty of the long box so with the help of this thing you don't need to define a constructor as well. Now, many times what we have to do, guys, we have to create the two string uh, method as well. We have to use for converting our data. So, so if I don't want to use that term simple, we have to use what we have to use, guys, two string Lombok annotations we have to use. And with the help of this, uh, this thing, we, we, with the help of this thing, guys, we, we don't need to create a getter and setters method. Now you can see, guys, without a getter and setters method as well, if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to what, guys, if I'm trying to fetch the value over here, straightforward in the straightforward we can able to get the values here as well guys you can see you can see we can able to get the values over here without any you can see guys without using the getter and setters method we can able to try to fetch and value of this private data members from outside of the class you can see we have another class which is named as a getter and setter method and now we can able to fetch the value if i'm trying to fetch the value of a you can see guys what exactly happened your default value is going to fetch on the console you can see this is default value is going to fetch on the console. If you want to set the value of this uh, string as you can able to set the value as well. How to set the value guys? Simple. You have to create basic uh, this object you have to call. You have to set s uh, this this method you have to call. And here I just need to provide Ganesh uh, Jadav Automation Studio. Okay, this is a string basically I'm going to uh, provide over here. And once this is done, I'm trying to face that string guys. Okay, so I'm just using gate uh, gate as so this string I'm just using over here. And based on that, we can able to see key uh, after can be able to set the value and even can be able to get the value as well. Okay, if I'm going to run my program, you can see guys, what exactly happened? I can able to set the value and get the value of the program as well guys. Uh, here you can see. Uh, Okay, uh, unfortunately, I haven't print this uh, variable over here. So that is why these things are happened. So again, I'm going to write down the system dot out dot print talent. And once this is done, you can see guys what exactly happened successfully. I can able to set the value and even we can able to get the value. You can see this get a value by default value. Basically, we can able to get then we set the value of this S variable, which is named as Ganesha the automation studio. This string basically we set it and then we are getting the value of that variable as well. And you can see we can able to successfully paste the value. So this is what exactly I want to tell you and this is the biggest advantage of the Lombok and that is why many people nowadays uh, they are enabling their project as an, into the Lombok and uh, the, with the help of the Lombok, uh, Lombok uh, class you don't need to create and get a setter method even even you don't need to create a constructor as well. So uh, remaining annotations also we are having guys with the help of the Lombok we can able to create the builder class as well. Now how to create that builder class that part we are going to learn in our next YouTube video. Okay, that's it for today guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching.